Hey there, welcome back to Coastal Boating. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the Point Pleasant Canal and some of the biggest defenders we've spotted speeding there. This narrow waterway connects the Manasquan River to the Barnegat Bay, and it's a popular route for boaters looking to get out to the ocean quickly. However, the canal is technically a no-wake zone, and there's a fine line between going too fast and losing control of your boat. So, let's dive into the topic and learn more. As you navigate the Point Pleasant Canal, you'll notice that it's quite narrow, with limited visibility and various hazards like other boats, buoys, debris, and strong currents. This means that boaters need to exercise caution and go as slowly as possible to avoid accidents and collisions. These speed limits are enforced by the State Police Marine Unit, but unfortunately, there isn't a safe place for the officers to sit other than their headquarters, also located along the canal. Instead, they have someone stationed there who blows a horn and tries to get speeders to slow down. If a marine unit is available, the officer on watch will radio to other officers to stop the boat. However, going too slowly can also be a problem. If you're not moving fast enough, your boat may lose steerage and become difficult to control. This is especially true in areas with strong currents or wind, where you need enough speed to maintain your course. In this video, we focused on picking out those who were crossing the line by going too fast, rather than just trying to stay in control. When you see bigger boats pushing a lot of water out the back, it's easy to assume that they're just jerks. But that's not always the case. Think of it like being on a treadmill. The current is the treadmill, and your boat has to maintain a certain pace, or you're going to fall off the back. If a boat is going south on the canal, and the tide going out has a current of 10 knots heading north, that boat is going to have to apply 10 knots worth of power just to stand still. Of course, that's not practical, so they need to make headway at a speed of, let's say for example, 5 knots. That would be a total of 15 knots worth of power, which will put out a pretty big wake. Here we have a 55-foot Hazimut yacht going a little too fast at this point in the canal. The current isn't that strong at the moment. He should be going about half of that speed. This Sea Ray captain is way out of line. In one of our earlier videos, you will see this captain fly by a bunch of other boats thanks to POV footage from one of our viewers, Ryan Mac Photo. After the video went up on the channel, I was told the state police were able to see the registration number and they issued the captain a fine. I will leave a link in the description for you to watch after this video. Coming from the Manasquan River, our captain here has the throttle down. My bet is he and his crew are headed to the F Cove, a popular party spot on the weekends. We may take a camera down there next year to show you all what it's all about, as long as things stay PG rated. Just a couple minutes later, one of our cameras a little further down the canal filmed the same boat still going fast. I wonder if he slowed down when he passed the New Jersey State Police. This sea hunt is going a little on the quick side. As he passes by our camera, the weight comes pretty close to taking out our camera. The cameraman jumps, and it's a good reminder that going too fast in narrow areas like the canal can cause real damage. Always be cautious of your wake, and try to slow down as much as possible. I'm not sure what this captain is thinking. Right across the canal from where we are filming is the New Jersey State Police Headquarters. The officer on watch sees him, and there is the horn. It didn't happen this time, but they do have a PA system they can use to yell at boaters. I'm sure most of you have seen this clip before. We have a family in a center console. They seem to be extremely upset at the boat in front of them. This is one of those situations where I wouldn't fault the bigger vessel. The bigger boat is facing a strong current, 
and just in front of them are four similar size boats, also creating large waves. Here we have a Formula 45 yacht going way too fast. Luckily, there weren't any other boats around at the time. I'm also glad he's running his radar in the canal, can never be too careful. I find the name on this boat to be ironic. He really should be doing about half of that speed. The only people that can get a pass on going fast down the Point Pleasant Canal are our first responders. These guys can never be thanked enough for the lives that they save. Shout out to the United States Coast Guard and New Jersey State Police. Okay, if you've made it this far, you now have a good understanding of what going too fast in the canal looks like. Let me know down in the comments if you think this captain is going too fast. It doesn't matter if it's an adult or a child, I never recommend doing what these kids are doing. Is it fun? Absolutely. However, it's not worth what could happen if they get slammed to the deck or worse fall overboard. Boating is supposed to be fun. Ending up in a hospital is not what I would call fun. This Sea Ray captain is coming through at one of the roughest points of the canal during high tide. Although he is going a little fast, judging by the look on his face, he is just trying to remain in control of his boat. Just to the north, on the Manasquan River, there is a low clearance drain bridge. When that bridge is down, boats need to wait for it to reopen. This causes a lot of boats to come through the canal all at once. As you can imagine, the wake from each boat bounces off of the walls of the canal, causing what locals call the Jersey Rapids. So there you have it. That was a closer look at the fine line between going too fast and too slow in the Point Pleasant Canal. Always exercise caution and be aware of your surroundings. If you have any tips or experiences to share, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Coastal Boating for more boating content. Thanks for watching.